What's up and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Asus ROG Flow Z13. This is the tablet that is the all-in-one, fully exclusive, like no NVIDIA GPU or Radeon GPU required. I mean, technically, it does have an Radeon GPU, but it's integrated, it's not a dedicated GPU. So, the thing is, this this integrated GPU is so good that it should still be able to play games about as good as an RTX 4050 or 4060 in that ballpark. So uh, this is the information on it. So we've got the Ryzen AI Max 395. So Max Plus 395 means we have a 16 core 32 thread CPU in a tablet. I told Asus they missed out on an opportunity because they could have put this processor in the Zephyrus G. 14, and I feel like that might have sold really well. Maybe not. It's hard to say exactly because this tablet does start at $2,000 is my understanding or right around there. So a G14 at $2,000, you could probably get an RTX 5070 with that, you know, for that much money. So maybe not, but it depends on how much, how cheap they could have made it. Anyway, all that said, this guy uh, pairs with the XG Mobile right here. It also has a 2.5K, 180 hertz, three millisecond response rate, 100% DCI-P3, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, touch display. So we've got an extremely bright and vibrant touch display here. You can see we've got, it moves around, it's responsive, um, and it's 180 hertz, so it's very, very high refresh rate. Now, the cool thing about the XG Mobile, all right, we're talking Thunderbolt 5, there is no more need for a uh, XG mobile port on this device. You can use a Thunderbolt 5 to get full throughput of a 5090 laptop GPU. This has vapor chamber built into it, and it has, let's see, what, let's check out the XG mobile. So it has a kickstand built into it. On this side over here, we have our power plug, 330 watts. We got our ethernet port, display port, full size display port, HDMI 2.1, we have two USB-Cs and two USB-As. That's incredible. Um, active air cooling. And Asus did say that the XG Mobile is 175 watt boost capable, which is just insane. So you're talking about a tablet that can play games on its own just fine. Like it's the most powerful integrated GPU that's ever been made so far. Um, and then you pair it up with the XG Mobile and you're talking about a monster machine that should have really high throughput out to the eGPU compared to previous eGPUs because of the Thunderbolt 5 enclosure. So overall, I'm super psyched and excited about this setup in particular, and I want to see this processor in more portable laptops, hopefully one that's affordable enough, like under $1,200. Like $1,200, and it's this processor, no need for another dedicated GPU. I don't know, we'll see, I guess, if it happens or not. But either way, this is so cool, and I can't wait to see more devices like it. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the tablet. Um, so this is a nice keyboard cover, got a, like a leather feel to it. The touchpad is also very large for a tablet interface. Uh, good click to this. Does the keyboard have a backlight? I think the keyboard should have a backlight. Um, Yeah, so there is a backlight on the keyboard. You just can't see it very well because it's not that bright. Um, okay, so if you fold this up, that's how thick it is. It's kind of thick, all right? We're talking about a fairly beefy boy. A USB-A headphone port, uh, a settings button, volume rocker, power adapter. The top has air vents, two air vents, air intakes here and here. Integrated kickstand. The kickstand does not have any air vents or anything behind it. Interesting. And then, whoa, on the other side, speaker, micro SD, power adapter port, the new Asus power adapter port, HDMI 2.1, and then we've got two USBs here. It looks like they say 40, so that might be two USB 4s. I'm not sure. That might be right or wrong. Two USB 4s would be insane to have on this as well, to give you lots of output and connectivity. Oh, and it looks like there's a rear camera here. And on the front, it looks like there's an IR camera. I'm not sure, let's see. Uh, does this have IR camera capability? It 
Set up face sign in. Okay, it, it does have face ID. So pretty freaking awesome. Oh, look at that. And it's RGB. RGB right here on the back. Very cool.